I'm pretty pumped for this, to be honest. Yellow. It looks so good. I'm getting a bit, bit too excited. What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Profits. Today we're going to be doing a video on the process of this canvas here, the avatar. This was requested by an audience member uh, and they've actually picked it up and purchased so uh, thank you very much. This will be coming over to you very shortly. Uh, if you have a request, be sure to hit me up, put it in the comment, send me a message uh, and either we'll do a video of the anime or you can have it for yourself at home. Anyway, let's get started. Enjoy the video. by myself. Now, don't mind this thing. I'm gonna draw your attention to it now, but don't mind that, it's a work in progress. That'll be coming later. Um, however, I have had a request from uh, Instagram someone wants me to do an avatar canvas for their son um, and I thought it was a great idea. I really like the reference image. This is an image that they wanted me to paint. Can you see that? I'll try and put it in the video for clarity. Anyway, regardless, it's pretty dope. I like the colors. The illustration from Luciano Vecchio is on point and should be pretty easy to replicate with spray paint. So I've got to cut the canvas out. I've got a big roll of the canvas just here. This is what the Hunter x Hunter. My mum got me this actually for Christmas a little while ago. It's a 25 meter roll of canvas, double primed. It's good to go. Let's fire up some tunes. Uh, what do we listen to? We're gonna put the sketch in. I'm gonna do a little pencil outline first because that makes uh, the video process a lot easier when I go to put down the sketch. So I'll sketch in the avatar and then I'll apply like a black outline for video purpose. You can just see it all happen at once. Then we'll get rolling. Yellow, it looks so good. So I used anthracite, anthracite gray so far in the background. This is Mars orange, interrail brown, tangerine, Yosemite, El Dorado, and canary yellow so far. Um, the reference photo had more like violets and purples in here. I don't actually have those colors. So I'm gonna try and do some blue. See how the, we'll see how the blue looks. And if it looks shit, I'm gonna stop and go to bed.
put a little bit of the hands in, but uh, let's just straighten that up because it's been bugging me. Done that with a level so that it looked that it is perfectly straight looks all right my only concern is that the canvas isn't actually straight on the walls anyway besides that it doesn't matter because I'll cut the canvas off when I wrap it and it'll be square starting to get like where the hands and shit are it's all starting to get a little bit small for me for spray paint so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in some transparent black just to add some depth underneath the clothes, sort of the shadow, you know, for here and whatever. Add, add some transparent, then I'm going to go in with a marker and uh, put in some finer lines and then just polish it off. Alright, actually, first I'm going to put the eyes in. clean out the edges without having to do much cutbacks and worry about fine details inside the actual piece. I use a, an acrylic marker. These, for these ones I just use the Molotov, 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 Molotov um, acrylic markers. I use the black and I just went around the edges and you put the line in. A friend of mine showed me this little trick. You put the line in and then you use your finger Use your finger to smudge it through and it just gives it a bit more of like a, a paint texture like to balance out with the spray paint. Very effective, hard to pick up, um, not that we're trying to hide anything but looks good, super clean, super sharp so it's given me some of those harder edges. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in with some paint and I'm just going to knock it back so it's a little bit cleaner and we're about about 90% done. Right. Now, I've already started, uh, but I'm going to be putting in some shadow black. This stuff is amazing. Uh, it just adds that little bit of extra depth to your piece. There's some of the shadow in here and some of the overlap. So, let's try and finish it off today or tonight. And then uh, we can upload it for you. All right, so let's get cracking.
Well done, mate. All right, the canvas is finished. I've applied a varnish. Which one did I use? I'm stuck with the MTN, the Montana Colors. I used the acrylic varnish. I did a couple of coats on this just to even out the layers and make a nice, smooth finish. And I used the gloss uh, because the gloss really enhances and helps the colors to pop off the canvas and it gives it a little bit more life. So now, I'm gonna pull it down, wrap it up, and then we can start our next canvas. All done. Debbie, this is for you. This will be coming to you as soon as possible. Uh, the next canvas though is going to be one piece. So I'm gonna stick up another piece there and get firing on the next canvas. Now again, if you want to canvas yourself, uh, hit me up, I can do one up for you. I can do it internationally if you're not from Australia. Uh, you just have to take shipping costs and all that. But uh, if you can't afford a, a canvas, but you would like one, or you would like one painted, let me know in the comments or hit me up in so on the social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, uh, and drop in a request, and I might very much do it on one of my next YouTube videos. So if you have a favorite anime that you enjoy, hit me up, and uh, I'll see if I can paint it.